Good evening. For any of you who don't know us, we are the very proud little sisters of the beautiful bride. We want to, we want to start by congratulating Brittany and Waleed and thanking everyone for coming tonight to celebrate such a special day. Um, hello everybody. Um, my name is Bedry and I'm the uh, brother of the groom and uh, I'm giving the best, the best, best man speech. The first thing I want to do to start this speech off is say, you're welcome. I was given what most people weren't, a role model to look up to all 20 years of my life. Brittany is the kind of big sister that every girl wishes she had. She is good at hair, makeup, sports, and providing me with advice to get me through the hard times in life and every phase as well. Brittany is one of the most kind and generous people you will ever meet. Um, and I'm saying you're, you're welcome for one reason. This day doesn't happen without me. Um, I made a wonderful decision to become the head coach at Claymont High School. And because of that ingenious move, uh, this wonderful day is happening. So I'm just, I'll take all your thank yous and say you're welcome. Anytime me and Brittany are driving on the highway together and we come to an intersection, if there's a homeless guy there, Brittany will automatically roll down her window and help the guy out. She always says it could potentially be an angel. I think the theme of I think the, the, the theme of today is happiness. And the reason why I, I say that is because since this relationship has started, and since they've gotten engaged, um, the happiness level in my family has went up 3,000%. Um, you know, it, it, it starts with my parents. Um, first, out of relief, saying, thank God this is finally happening. Um, but I'll tell you what, since, since they've gotten engaged, um, uh, being around my being around my parents during this time has been an interesting thing, uh, but they're always in excitement mode. They're planning stuff, um, and it's just been fun to watch them do it because I know they're doing it because they're so proud and about and excited about today. One of my favorite things about Brittany is her capability of pulling off such great pranks. One of her best pranks was actually pulled on me when I was very young. Her and Tiffany presented me with a warhead and told me to put it in my mouth. So of course I went along with it because I wanted to be just like them and agreed very quickly. As soon as I put it in my mouth, they told me that if I took it out, my tongue would turn blue forever. And so I held it in my mouth as long as I could, and it ended up being too sour, and I actually threw it up. Um, uh, another person that has been really happy with the whole thing is, is, is my grandma, my city. Um, you know, every, every time you bring up Bleed and Brittany to her, her, her smile goes from ear to ear. And, uh, you know, it's been a great year for her. This is actually her second grandchild that has actually got married this year. My cousin Elise got married, got married too. So I'm, I'm thrilled for her that she's been able to have a wonderful year and watch two of her grandkids get, get married and start, start the new chapter in their life. She is also the kind of person who notices when people are going through a hard time. As many of you guys know, whenever I study for finals, I get extremely grumpy. Brittany would always run to Dollar General and surprise me with tons of candy, chips, and a dozen donuts. And here's to my new brother, Waleed, the spunkiest one of us all. I'm excited to have another brother, but I hope Waleed is mentally, physically, and emotionally prepared to have two sisters. I have known Waleed for a little over two years, and in these past two years, he has made me a better person. He has taught me to be confident and enjoy life, no matter how difficult the situation may be. Those of you who have the opportunity to be loved by Waleed know that he will become your biggest fan in life, no matter what you're striving to achieve. And like my sister, he will give you all the, that he possesses to make you the happiest person possible. As many of you know, Waleed is a planner. 
Anytime there is a birthday, graduation, or special occasion, he will call the restaurant many weeks ahead of time to make sure everything is prepared so it can be the best it can. He is always so generous and somewhat stubborn. If he offers to pay, no one is allowed to even consider to pay. His signature move is to take any cash, throw it up in the air, and clench his teeth and say, I've got this. He said, he and I have been close since day one. You know, as brothers, I don't think you get any closer than us. Like I said, we had our childhood, we were with each other every single, every single day. And, um, you know, and grow, growing up, it's always been one of those things where um, very rarely were there ever times where um, we didn't communicate often. And, uh, you know, I, I figured this day would come at some point. <laughs> it had to happen at some point. Uh, and I was thrilled about it. And, you know, I, I love my brother to death. I would do anything for him. Uh, because I'm not close with anybody ever. So to be his best, to be his best man, to me, uh, just another great day. Just another great day. Um, and I'm blessed to be a, a part of this and, and to watch him and Brittany have a great future together. Since his arrival, he has whipped the three masked girls into shape. We are known as being somewhat indecisive. And upon meeting Waleed for the first time, I knew that this would no longer be an issue. Me, Brittany, and Waleed were getting ready to go out to eat, and I couldn't decide if I wanted Taco Bell or Ming Hang. It took me a solid five minutes trying to figure out what I wanted, and finally Waleed stood up, looked at me, and said, we're getting you both. Another thing about Waleed is his hearty, contagious, loud laugh. Whether we are at home in, or in a public setting, if he thinks something is funny, he's going to let it go. His free spirit reminds me that life is too short and that being happy and making the best out of every, every day and with the people you love is the most important thing. Um, but most of all, the happiness I see in my brother is something that I've never seen before. Um, you know, normally, the things that I see him, the, the, the things that I see make him happy are people like Bernie Kozar or, um, or Eddie from Christmas Vacation are the things that make him smile and make him happy or Paul, Paulie D from the Jersey Shore always made him happy. And uh, Jack Tripper from Three's Company is definitely one that uh, really took his happiness level to the uh, happiness to the next level. But um, when it comes to Brit Brittany Mast, um, it's reached another level that he's never been before. And, and, that's, and that's been so fun to watch. We don't have a lot of experience in the marriage advice department, but we have been around Brittany for a really long time, so we thought we would give Waleed some advice. The first one is to always keep on hand a good murder mystery movie and some Ben and Jerry's ice cream for those days when it just didn't go her way. Another piece of advice is if you ask Brittany a question and if she says whatever, you can do what you want, do not do what you want. I repeat, do not. Separately you are two special and remarkable people, but together you guys are complete. As you sip side by side through this roller coaster of life, remember to scream from the peaks, hold hands through the dips, laugh through the loops, and enjoy every twist and turn. So the ride is much better when you do it together. He's so dedicated to her and being by her side every chance that he can and, you know, just building that bond with her that he's trying to build for forever. And, um, you know, I couldn't be happier for him uh, that he has found someone that he, that he loved to death and would do anything for. And, and it's made him, I think, a different per person um, and Brittany you know thank you for everything that you've done for my family <laughs> um, it's been a great relationship up to this point I know everything else is gonna get even better so um, Lee and Brittany I, I love you both and wish you nothing but the best and good luck and all that you do, and God bless.
thing is finally here. I feel like we've been planning for what seems like a long time now, and I'm so excited that I get to be your wife. You're going to be such an amazing father, and you're going to be such an amazing husband, and I just can't wait to see you fill up both of those roles. I'm so thankful that God brought you into my life, and I'm so thankful that he has kept us together. And I can't wait to wake up next to you every single day, and I can't wait to get to fall asleep next to you every single day. I'm just so happy to call you mine, and I'm so happy that we are getting married. I love you with my whole heart, and I will talk to you later. I love you so much. Bye. Love of my life. Hi, darling. I just called to say I love you. And that no matter what great things happen for us in the future, this will always be remembered as the best day of my life. I am so lucky to celebrate this day with all our friends and family, celebrating how I am meant for you and you are meant for me. We always talk about how we didn't believe things happened for a reason until we met each other. Well, we believe it now, babe. I love you. Now let's party like it's 1999. First off, I want to I want to start start this speech not by saying um, welcome or thank you. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna stop that for a second. That's my blooper. Um, okay. Jen, he will call the restaurant ahead of time. <laughs> All right, can I send over? Yeah. Okay. Um, so to William and Brittany, I want to tell you that I love you both, and and I wish you guys happiness from here on out, and and I hope that everything you guys have. God bless it. All right. Um, so to William and Brittany. You know, I just want to tell you that I, that I love you both, and I wish you nothing but more happiness till, till I, God dang it, I had it started right there, and I, it just stopped. Wait, I, I got to start the exact same way. All right. I, I didn't end that good. God dang it. The last line, I need to get a better one. Hey, you can always uh, put another one in. Um, okay. Uh, Bleed and Brittany, I hope you guys... Have a, live a long and wonderful life together, and I and I and I hope that all your guys' dreams come true, and everything you guys do from here on out, you do with with happiness and, and joy. And now, nah, screw that too. That's bad. That got weird. Um, huh. Thank you. I don't want to end that. <clears throat> I just want to wish them good, wishing good, wishing good luck, and I love them very much. So, Bleed and Brittany, um, con con congratulations on, a, on what's going to be a long and awesome journey, and I, I hope you guys have a, a lot of fun, and let's have a great day today.